This is not a very big bucket, but it's got great big problems. Yep. Grease worms done eat it alive. This is what happens when you don't do maintenance on your equipment. You just let it go and go and go. The bad part about it was that pin shouldn't even have been turning in that hole to begin with. But, it's a nice one, let me tell you. Yeah, here's the pin that's, uh, <clears throat> well, that's supposed to fit in that hole, see? And... I don't know why that's got that road on there, but that kind of makes me nervous. Anyway, this one's wore out. Uh, not near as bad as this one up here, though. And we'll ease around here. I wish I had a better camera. And as you can see, the other side's all... Yeah, that's what I said, too. Damn if it ain't wore out. And... I've got to fill all of this up up here. It's going to make it hard to line up, but eh, it will. Alright. I'm welding the hole up, and as you can see, I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch around through there. I haven't went all the way around yet. I'm leaving the quarter of an inch for the cones to cone up so it'll center up on this hole. These holes weren't as bad as the other holes. So that's why I'm leaving that little quarter inch and you see a bunch of little balls fell down there where I was welding. It don't have to look pretty because guess what? It all comes right back out. And that, uh, that's how that goes. I'll show you the cones here after a while or sometime. Until it's late because Coast to Coast is on the radio. <sighs> Alright. Over here on the other side, and it's got a hole for a bolt to go through to hold the pin. Well, I don't know how everybody else does this because I've never seen anybody else do it. But I cut brown stock and I slide it into the hole and get it kind of flush. And then I weld over that. And the reason being, if you leave that hole there and try to weld, it will break your cutters. Uh, it, it will it will mangle them. So if it's smooth and got something to at least bite into when it goes through there, it won't uh, it won't break your cutters. And when you get it cut all the way out and get it bored out, you can usually take this one and start hitting it with a hammer and there'll be a little dimple show up in here and you can grind it a little bit and it'll knock on through and you can pull it out either way and then once you get this one out you can take a longer piece and drive the other one out uh, like I say I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be done but that's the way I'm going to do it and I'm glad this project's over with I'm dreading that hole <sighs> Alrighty, I said I'd show you what the cones were for. Or the well, reason I left a little quarter inch around those is so this cone will fit good and even around through there. And now I've got these lined up and the bearings welded in place. These will come out, the rod will, or the boring bar will come out. And then I'll finish welding that little bit that I didn't weld before up. And I've got enough room in here once this comes out to get my arm in there. And if you can notice, these are standoffs. Of course, these are bearings that the bar is going to run through. My standoffs weren't hardly long enough uh, because of this. I could probably put them inside, but I didn't want to, so I put them out here. And, you know, if they're not long enough, you can weld. I welded a chunk of metal in there, and then over here I've done the same thing, welded it up. And, as long as you get it good and stiff, and if it, if it starts wiggling or wobbling around on you, you can always go back and maybe put one here or something. You can, it, it, most of the people that deal with these are welders. Hey, every welder knows how to use a grinder, so and whether we like to use them or not, so it ain't no big deal. That's a weld from another job that I haven't ever ground off. I'm lazy. 
well, a whole lot lazy sometimes. But as you can see, it's all it's in there. Now I need to pull the pull the bar and the cones out and finish that little quarter inch of weld up and let it cool off a little bit and I can go to uh, I can start boring. I can put my cutters in here and start boring. Okay. Well, got everything together here. Got the uh, bar back in, welded up. I've already made a cut or two. And uh, got the uh, mag drill on the base. I'm only using one bearing on that end and I'm using the bearing on the base for this end. I didn't see any reason to put another one on there. And uh, got a cutter in here and I'm not quite sure it's the right cutter but that is an old cutter and I need to uh, I'll use it up before I break in any new ones. And uh, got it pretty close. Going to make probably two more real gentle cuts. And I don't know if you can see this on here or not. I started cutting it a little deep there and I was hogging it. And, uh, yeah, I believe you can see that. Yeah, I was going to lie to you and tell you it's something else, but I actually tried to take too much at once, which you don't want to do. And, uh, anyway, I'm, uh, I've got, uh, uh, okay, you might recognize this as being a Mountain Dew bottle. And it is. And in there is some cutting fluid. And... <laughs> a low buck operation here. My little uh, bottle that I usually keep my cooling in has uh, tore up, so I poked a hole in the end of this one, and hey, it works. It's cheap. I get done with it, I can throw it away, I guess. But anyway, let's see here. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. we got to put this thing in this gear right here, and we'll see, try to get this without getting anything hung in the bar while we're down here. These ain't exactly done, but you can see how smooth they are. I haven't even, I usually take a flap wheel and buff them up and shine them a little bit, and I've got to grind a little bit of this off too. Anyway, you can see they turned out pretty smooth. They weren't too bad at all. A lot of that has to do with your cutter and how good you got the weld laid in there too. These are bored. This hole here that was in such bad shape has now been bored. All this will be ground off. I just, I just haven't done it yet. But you can see the hole. I had to build a lot up here, if you remember earlier. Same way over here, I had to, I had to do a lot of build up in the top of that. And uh, pins in. It's got the right amount of clearance. I gotta clean all this off, get my tabs off of it, and do some buffing and shining on it. And, oh well, job's done. Got that boring bar and those plates from uh, American Machine Tools. But anyway. Uh, works good, simple setup, and, and most of all, it makes me money. Thank you. Almost forgot something.
Bet y'all are wondering about these, ain't you? There, yep, is how much well was over top of that. And of course this one's already loose. I done beat it loose. See the little hole come loose there. Beat it with a hammer. See, I beat it fiercely. But it will knock out. Of course I'll have to cut the end off with a torch or something and drive it out. But it punched it right on through that much weld. There's probably, I don't know, eighth of an inch or better of weld on there. And it just drove it out like a punch. I forgot to show you that. So there it is.